you know, sometimes I feel cheated that the heyday of boxing was before my time. Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, Duran. I don't have time to go all the way back to Lewis and Marciano. The good old days when no single sporting event was bigger than a prize fight, when we saw the best face off in their prime. I can't get into all the reasons why boxing has fallen off, but one thing is for sure, the sport no longer has the household names that it used to. So let's fast forward to 2017, the reality TV era. It's fitting that our prize fight falls more into the spectacle category, but we should still all break out the popcorn and open our wallets collectively. No, we don't have the competition I was reminiscing about. That's far from an understatement. And I do trust in Max when he says Conor McGregor won't land a punch. But here's what we should be grateful for in this spectacle. We finally have box office names back in the ring. It just so happens one happens to be from the wrong sport. Seriously, though, this fight was just a pipe dream at one point that we all wanted to see and it's really happening. Thank you, Dana White. You might choose to not watch because you're a purist or you're not a fan of either fighter's past transgressions, both valid, but you'd be missing out on finally having two superstars in the ring for the first time in decades. And I hear you don't blink, it'll be over. But listen, Floyd's fights go 10.9 rounds on average. If things go as he predicted, you'll finally get to see Floyd knock someone out. That's witnessing history in itself. And just trust me, get a nice spread, maybe go potluck a few cold ones, check out the prop bets, invite your friends over and enjoy the fact that even if it's slightly depressing that our new reality of a prize fight is this, and even if the competition disappoints, at least you're guaranteed clickbait trash talk post fight. So don't get high and mighty on me, folks. You're not above it, and either am I. Let's be honest, we could all use a much needed distraction from real life.